I'm going to show you how to make my quick fish curry with cardamom cauliflower rice and it is your best friend for a speedy weeknight supper. So I'm starting off by making my curry base. Into my pot I want a little drizzle of olive oil and a knob of butter. Okay and the butter is going to add nice richness to the curry. So in that goes. And then as soon as the butter starts to foam, I can go in with all my spices. And then I've got turmeric, which adds a beautiful sunshiny yellow hue. And I've got a mix of garam masala, cumin, ground coriander, a little bit of cinnamon, and some chili. So in with my spices. And just cooking them off a little bit before you add the rest of the ingredients really helps to wake them all up and it makes all those flavors come alive. Okay. Straight away you're hit by the aroma of all of that exoticness coming straight out of the pot. And then I'm going in with a good couple of teaspoons of grated fresh ginger, which just makes everything pop. And two cloves of finely chopped garlic. Okay, now I can start adding in the liquid. So I've got just under a tin of tomatoes. And I'll let those cook up for a little bit. And then at this stage, I wanna add a little pinch of salt. And I also like adding in about a teaspoon of sugar as well. It just helps to balance out some of the acidity of the tomato. You can also use a natural sweetener if you like. Sometimes I use coconut sugar. And then coconut milk. So it adds this delicious creaminess, but then you've also got those interesting coconutty notes. So it's just one tin. If you don't want to use coconut milk, you could use a nice thick natural yogurt if you prefer. Okay, I just want to cook out my sauce for a little bit, let it simmer and thicken up. And then my oven is already preheated to 180 degrees. So all that happens next is I take my beautiful curry sauce, pour it over this fresh hake fillet and just cover it. And then it goes into the oven and it bakes for about 10 minutes or until the meat is cooked through and it flakes apart easily with a fork. Oh, forgot one thing. I want a little stick of cinnamon. And I could add in cardamom pods at this stage, which I love, um, but I am gonna add them into my cauliflower rice. I'll show you just now. Okay, so it's at a nice bubble. I'm turning it down to about two out of 10. The amazing thing about induction is that you have this almost instantaneous response to anything that you tell it to do. Also, it's incredibly safe for kids. So if I'm cooking with my kids, I stick to the induction because the heat is gone from the cooking surface within a few seconds of taking off the pot. So if I lift this up, it knows that the pot is gone. It turns off the heat automatically. So it is probably way smarter than we are even. So straight over my fish. Look at all of that beautiful color. Okay, and then this goes straight into the oven. Okay, so we just leave it to do its thing for about 10 minutes and then I will check on it. And while that is cooking, I want my cauliflower rice to be steaming in the oven. Okay, this is my perforated steaming container. And here I have finely chopped cauliflower. So all I do is throw a whole head of cauliflower, roughly broken up, into my food processor, blitz, and you end up with this gorgeous fluffy cauliflower rice. So that goes straight in here. Some of my very favorite flavor friends are cardamom pods. So I just crush them gently with my knife so that they open up and then they release all these beautiful little black seeds and then they, I'm just gonna mix them amongst the rice and then that will infuse and add a whole lot of extra flavor. So, this goes in. Okay, middle shelf and then I turn it on and I go to automatic programs, vegetables. Cauliflower, florets, 
small, really, really small. Steam cooking. And then I want it fairly well done. And then that's it. Start now. So while my fish is in the oven and the cauliflower is steaming and Apollo, our puppy is having a big fat snooze, I am going to toast some flaked almonds, which I'll use to add a crunchy topping to the curry. One tip for toasting nuts, because I have a habit of burning them, do not try and multitask. Focus. Do not do five things at once. Okay. You can also bake them in the oven, in a really hot oven at about 200 degrees. Just spread them out on a little baking tray, in they go. Keep an eye on them, and then they come out in about four or five minutes. My curry is smelling amazing, and it's been about 10 minutes, so it should be ready. Look at that, so you can see the sauce has reduced, and Oh my gosh, it's just collapsing. It's really, really tender, really soft. So beautiful. So, no mess, no fuss. Cauliflower is cooked. I want to get a bowl. because there is no ways that I'm not tasting this really, really soon. Okay, I'm just gonna add some salt because I didn't season it yet. And then some of this fish. Okay. So just kind of layer it up, add a little sprinkle of the nuts. And then some fresh coriander. Look how pretty that looks. Yum. Mm. So yum. The recipe is available at saragraham.co.za or on the Mila South Africa website. I really hope you're going to make this soon.